Yi Qingyao was deeply moved here, and in Su Chang's mind, the system's tens of billions of subsidies arrived on time. Ding! You sent 1803 Ultimate Essence Renewal Bone Pills, and the tens of billions of subsidies took effect, triggering an excess critical attack. This excess critical attack multiplier, 879,000 times. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the drug-laced pill. Huh? The drug-laced pill? Su Chonga frowned, and subconsciously felt that this thing was definitely not. Simple. The system sound sounds. The drug-laced pill, ancient holy medicine, if people take it, can strengthen. The bones of the body, all 206 bones in the body are strengthened into vitra. Glazed bone, this bone is extremely hard, invulnerable to swords and guns. Water and fire are not invaded, and this is only the basic mystery, people who have this bone can use the backbone as a sword, as a sword, as a halberd, or take the bones of the body as 18 kinds of weapons, endless changes. Mysterious. Lying groove, so hanging. Su Chang's jaw almost dropped. In fact, this subsidy is too awesome. In layman's terms, after taking this pill, the bones of the whole body will be strengthened into vitra glazed bones, which can be used as weapons, and if you pull out one at will, you can change into various sharp weapons to stab people. But you know, his physical body is the body of a saint, the bones belong to the flesh, and the natural bones are also the bones of the saints, if the bones are strengthened, and they are drawn out and turned into weapons to kill, how much lethality is under the superposition of such power? Thinking about it, Su Changa showed a hearty smile. Immediately, he said goodbye to the beautiful master and went to another room. The beautiful master was a little reluctant, but he said that he would just go for a while and come back immediately, so Yi Qingyao let him go. Looking at his back as he walked out of the room, Yi Qingyao felt empty in her heart. Bao, in a secluded room. This place is far from the room where Yi Qingyao is, about a thousand steps away. Su Changa pushed the door in, then closed the door took out the vitra glazed pill from the system space, and then entered the Xianhuang Pagoda of Heaven and Earth. When taking the elixir bone transformation, it will definitely produce a lot of aura fluctuations, so it must be changed places. Among the pagodas, Lear and Xiaoyu were bored in the cozy cabin, and when they saw him coming, their eyes suddenly lit up and they greeted them one by one. Su Changa pinched their little faces, and then chatted with them for a while, without wasting too much time, and immediately took the vitra glazed pill. Nourish and nourish, the elixir melted in the mouth, turning into a stream of cool water, as if eating ice cream, pouring down the throat. In an instant, there was a click sound in his body, as if a certain pass had been opened and he felt that his bones were rapidly transforming. First the first, then the second, the third. It didn't take long for the 206 bones on his body to be transformed. Boom. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. The aura on his body skyrocketed, his chi and blood were like dragons, and his Cultivation was climbing day by step. Breakthrough. Seal the Zen realm for a heavy heaven. Seal the Zen realm triple heaven. Seal the five heavens of the Zen realm. Seal the seven heavens of the Zen realm. Seal the nine heavens of the Zen realm. As Xiu Wei rolled, his physical strength also ushered in a crazy skyrocket. 2.1 billion caddies. 2.2 billion caddies. 2.3 billion caddies. 2.4 billion caddies. The bones belong to the flesh, so when the bones transform, the strength of the flesh will also skyrocket. 
and this time, the straight line increased its physical strength by 400 million caddies, which can be described as unprecedented. Phew! Su Changa let out a turbid breath and immediately began to look at his changes. He felt that his body was full of light, with a hint of cold feeling, which was very comfortable and comfortable. Under the inner vision, I was surprised to find that every bone in the body, one after another, whether it was a bone as thin as a hair, or as thick as a thigh bone, all transformed from the original white to a golden body full of sparkling brilliance, golden sparkling, dazzling, gilded bone. Su Changa blurted out. The bones on the upper and lower bodies were like a layer of golden. Periosteum, sacred and solemn, as tough as golden jade pillars. And he also felt that the bones in his body were free to retract, and with just one thought, he could pull out one of the bones and transform them into extremely sharp weapons. Give it a try. Su Chunga's mind moved, and the bones of his right hand suddenly began to transform, and the bones in his body were like dragon tails, shining with golden light, and even the flesh and blood were golden, rapidly transforming. With a thought, this bone suddenly transformed into a halberd and left the body. The overall gold of the halberd was cast as if it were pure gold, and leer. And Xiao Yu were far away, and they could clearly perceive the terrifying aura. Faintly exuding from the halberd. Tear up. Su Changa walked outside the door, raised his hand, and the halberd broke. Through the air, instantly penetrating a mountain in the distance. Under the terrifying power, that majestic mountain exploded to pieces on the spot. Ha ha ha, cool. Su Changa is very happy. Subsequently, he took the vertebrae into his body, and after chatting with Xiao Lier for a while, he withdrew from the tower. Back on the ship, he quickly returned to the beautiful master. Half an hour later, the flying boat successfully arrived in Jeju City. Meanwhile, Tai Xian Dao Sect, Tiantai Peak, Alchemy Hall. Yunhua Ferry sat on a chair, looking at the rising sun outside, and felt bitter in his heart. When Fang Kaitian was not yet dawn, she had already persuaded Huang Jiolong. And Huang Jiolong did get up, but he stumbled while walking, and fell again. Before taking two steps, causing him to scream with grinning teeth, and he really couldn't go. After she saw it, she let out a helpless sigh. The talent is too low, alas. If the talent was higher, he would have already soared under her guidance, far. Surpassing Xue Hong Yao, how could he be slapped so miserably by her? Even if he took ten thousand steps back, his cultivation was no match for Xue Hong Yao, but at that time, he warned him and advised him not to be impulsive. If he listened, he would not be like this. Low talent, rigid self-use, not listening to good words and persuasion, self. Centered, thinking. Of this, Yunhua Fairy was very helpless. How great it would be if I could assist that peerless Tianjiao. She remembered the Tianjiao, who was full of eighteen cave heavens, and caused the Dao Yin to tremble. Such a person is worthy of her assistance. But to help him, you must first meet him. At the thought of meeting, Yunhua Fairy was helpless. There were so many people in the Tai Xian Dao sect, she couldn't find them one by one. And she had already sensed it in the entire sect, and she had never sensed the breath of the eighteen cave heavens. But she suddenly remembered something, and her beautiful eyes suddenly regained a bit of radiance. I should be able to meet him at the tournament, right? At that time, he will definitely show his strength and win the position of the Holy Son. In this case, I just have to wait for the tournament. Jeju City The city is not large, covering an area of no more than 100 acres, belonging to an ordinary small city. 
Last night, a thunderstorm broke out, and the torrential rain rumbled down, causing flash floods, and the flood roared, breaking the city walls and even more ruining houses. Fortunately, there were no casualties. After dawn, a tomb complex was found washed away, and a large number of gold and silver jewelry onyx necklaces float out, dazzling and dazzling to see. There were also many corpses that were rushed out horizontally, one by one. Bloodless, looking extremely mad. As the saying goes, the happiest thing in the world is to collect money, so. Soon, many people gathered here, rushing for gold. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com, slash, 2AA54Z8B. Soon after, an old beggar arrived panting. Today, he suddenly felt that he was going to lose something precious, and this feeling drove him all the way here. But he was old and weak, and he couldn't grab those young and strong people. And in the end, he could only shift his target to the corpse. Those corpses also have many burial objects on them, such as ornaments on the head, rings, and jade bracelets on the hands, and so on. Suddenly, he found something, and his eyes lit up at once. I saw that among the piles of corpses, there was a corpse whose skin color was as bright as a living person. It was a female corpse, her face was no more than seventeen or eight years old, her skin was like snow, fair and tender, and her figure was even more slender, and her graceful body was lightly wrapped in a colorful streamer. Butterfly coat, like a shock, quiet and virgin. What a peerless beauty! The old beggar was shocked. He quickly found a cloth to cover the female corpse so as not to be discovered by others. It is also thanks to the fact that many people put their minds on the gold and silver jewelry all over the ground and ignored this female corpse. But think about it, people can't avoid such obscure things as corpses, and subconsciously they will stay away. Not long after, more and more people came to pan for gold, and the old beggar looked at the female corpse with trepidation, covering it tightly, for fear of being snatched away by others. The reason why he didn't carry it directly was that he couldn't carry it. He was old and frail, hungry, and full, his body was skinny, his thighs were as thin as his wrists, and he had no strength at all. So he planned to wait until these people in front of him left, and then find a way to transport the female corpse. As for why this female corpse? He refused to answer. Ahead, many people looked at him and scoffed. Old beggar, you also came to pan for gold? As far as your skinny arms and legs, can you grab it? Old beggar, the flood didn't wash you away last night, and my Wang or Matsi expressed disbelief. Don't sit there, you see it's useless for us, these gold and silver jewelry can only be grabbed by people with great strength, and you will have a chance to see. People also made fun of him. But the old beggar looked calm and did not answer a word. It didn't take long for people to gradually leave, and the scene was soon empty. The old beggar was about to find a car to transport the woman's body, but at this moment, a young man and woman suddenly arrived. At the head was a young man in white, old sir, wait a minute. The person who came is not someone else, it is Su Changa. And beside him, it was Yi Qingyao. Huh? Hearing someone call himself, the old beggar was slightly stunned. He turned his head and looked only to see that the people who came were extraordinary, and they were wearing luxurious brocade robes, and he thought. In his heart, it should be some rich and noble people, and I don't know what to look for me. He put on a smiling face and said, This prince, are you in trouble? Suchanga pointed to the female corpse and said bluntly, I want this corpse. The old beggar was shocked suddenly but following the look in the eyes becomes complicated. 
Good boy, he actually has an idea about the corpse, there really is yours. Su Chonga saw that his eyes were wrong, thought slightly, and immediately. Guessed his thoughts, coughed awkwardly, and said, that, I'm different from. You, I have women, speaking of this, he pointed to Yi Qingyao and asked, see. Her? The. Old beggar looked at Yi Qingyao, and his eyes suddenly lit up. This is a living beauty. This talented woman, a pair of immortals, is really envious. Here, hearing the apprentice say that she was his woman, Yi Qingyao's white. And Flawless Face suddenly turned red, like a rotten peach blossom all over. The mountains, red and bright. She quickly grabbed Su Changa and said, You whisper. Although she said this, her heart was as sweet as eating honey. How could Su Changa not see her thoughts? He smiled and said, Master, your whole body is soft, only your mouth is hard. What a shame, I told you to be quiet. Yi Qingyao lowered her head shyly, her small face buried low. Su Changa looked at the old beggar, did not talk nonsense, waved his big hand, and directly threw out a million gold coins, only listening to the sound of Boom La La sounded, and in the blink of an eye, the gold coins that fell on the ground fell on the ground, shining brightly, attracting attention. The old beggar's eyes straightened all at once. Oh my God, there are so many? He was not a monk, and he couldn't tell how many there were, but what he saw was all over the ground, shining golden and dazzling, and even a fool knew that it was by no means a small number. Su Changa said with a smile, I don't bully people, this is a million, enough. To buy you a corpse, do it, or not. Dry. Gongzi atmosphere. The Old beggar was overjoyed, his hands trembled with excitement, and his heart blossomed with joy, tears of joy filled his eyes, and he cried bitterly up to the sky, I finally have the time to run. While read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. Speaking, he was also thinking about the gold diggers, just now. Make fun of me? Pure fool. Sir, I didn't do anything, I didn't have any strength, I directly earned a million, even if all those gold and silver jewelry were sold, it was not worth a million, and I earned so much with one hand. Just make fun of me? Have a face yet? A bunch of fools. He looked at the ground where those people were standing. Just now and took a sip. At the same time, he also burst into tears of gratitude to Su Changa in his heart, plopping down on his knees to Su Changa, saluting Mabai, and crying. With a headache, thank you Gongzi, Gongzi, you are really a noble person in my life. I just said how I felt like I was going to lose something in my heart today, it turned out that if I didn't come, I would miss a million. That's a million, I just begged for a lifetime, and I can't earn a fraction. Su Changa casually took out a storage bag, helped him pack up the million. Gold coins all over the ground, handed it to him, and then patted him on the shoulder and said with a smile, Well, people, there will always be times when the day comes. The old beggar thanked him for his kindness, took the bag and cowed out a few more times, and then left satisfied. Ha ha ha, there is money, the beggar turns over and sings, ha 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 ha. Sir, I will buy a mansion, buy him three or five hundred subordinates, and live a rich life from now on. Along the way, his face was full of red light, he walked with the wind, his skinny chest was tall, and the spring breeze was proud of horseshoe disease. Not to mention how happy he was. Just, just a few steps away, he suddenly felt his eyelids jump, and the feeling of losing something precious in his heart actually lingered in his heart. This feeling made him very uncomfortable, and his mood became dull. Strange, I clearly didn't miss it. 
He tugged at the storage bag in his hand, his brows furrowed when he sensed. The heavy weight of millions of gold coins, not understanding where this feeling came from. After thinking about it for a long time, he still couldn't figure it out. Anyway, and in the end he could only attribute it all to being too happy. After all, there is a saying that happiness is sad, and it may be like this. After that, he began to buy a mansion. But halfway there, I was attracted by a green building. Mother, I have never entered the green building in my life, now that it is. Developed, let's go first to be happy and happy. P.S., in autumn, the weather changes suddenly, cool, rainy and continuous, this. Time is often the high incidence of colds, everyone pay attention to keep. Warm. Su Changda looked at the back of the old beggar with flying eyebrows, smacked. His lips, and said, little master, I want gold coins that are useless. Ha ha ha. Even if it is useful, one million gold coins in exchange for an immortal king. will make a fortune. No, even if it's not one million gold coins, it's one million ultimate spirit. Stones, ten million extreme spirit stones, what? The body of the immortal king is so precious, it can be called a priceless. Treasure, not to mention ten million superb spirit stones, even if you pay all. Your net worth, you can't buy it at all. As we all know, some powerful people are terrifying just in the flesh and blood, almost a drop of priceless treasures that are hard to find. Not to mention the immortal king level powerhouse. But now, Suchanga exchanged a million wastes for a body full of immortal king essence blood. How to say that it has made a lot of money? Besides, how terrifying was the immortal king inheritance he received from the Dao One Holy Land? Although that immortal king is only a dead thing, an inheritance passed down. Casually has benefited him so far and made a lot of money. And right now, he has directly obtained an immortal king that can be revived. Isn't this a lot of money? It can be imagined that once this fairy queen's corpse is revived in the future, the benefits he will get can be described as unprecedented. The more Su Changa thought about it, the more happy he became, and the more he thought about it, the more excited he became. I have to say that the eternal god of the Dark Soul Emperor has turned the Yunhua fairy into his own treasure-hunting rat in disguise. Although she helped Huang Jiolong, she helped herself, and she herself was still in the dark, ha ha ha. Yi Qingyao spoke, Apprentice, is this the chance you are talking about? She couldn't sense a trace of breath circulation from this corpse, and with her cultivation, she couldn't sense the immortal king, so she subconsciously thought that it was just an ordinary corpse. Su Chongga nodded and said with a smile, Not bad, this is the chance. Yi Qingyao was still puzzled and asked, But this is a corpse, what's the use? Su Chang'e just smiled and did not speak. Such a powerful corpse, why would he know? Can't explain it, right? Seeing that Su Chang'e didn't say, Yi Qingyao didn't ask. Maybe there is some secret inside this corpse, and I hope that the feeling in the apprentice is accurate. After Su Chang'e smiled, he uncovered the cloth and carefully looked at the corpse of the fairy queen. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com, slash, 2AA54Z8B. Looking closely, I saw that her skin was as white and flawless as beautiful. Jade, spotless, and her skin, that could be broken by blowing was like frost. And snow. Above the beautiful eyes are the moon-like phoenix eyebrows, below are the fragrant cheeks and the dripping cherry-like cherry lips reveal a faint pink. The figure is even more graceful and moving, like a fine willow in spring, if you revive and dance, you will definitely dance to the city, and then dance to the country. After reading it, Su Changa took out the storage bag and prepared to put her in. 
It's just that when his hand touched the corpse of this fairy queen, a hand suddenly appeared in front of him, stopped in front of him, and shouted. Slow. Huh? Su Chonga raised his eyebrows. Looking up, I saw that the person who came was an old man with a goatee, and a giant sword was embroidered on his robe, which seemed to be the clothing of some great sect, and he looked majestic. What's wrong, what's the problem? Seeing that the visitor seemed to have bad intentions, Su Chonga naturally would not give him a good look. The goatee old man first raised his face and smiled, followed by a gloomy face. Like water, and said in a sad voice, what problem? Ha ha ha. Is there something wrong with it to you? This corpse is a big problem, the immortal. King Powerhouse was actually bought by you with a million junk gold coins. Really think I can't see it blind? He is shrewd, this is an immortal king-level corpse, full of treasures, and must not be heard by others. And he could also see that the woman next to this kid didn't seem to know what this woman's corpse was. As for himself, it took a huge price yesterday to learn about this great opportunity from a soothsayer. Su Chonga's face remained unchanged, and he said in a deep voice, What do you want? The goatee old man did not answer, first looked at the green building from a distance, and sneered, What a fool, I don't know, if I lost such a big opportunity, and I am still triumphantly visiting the green building, there is no person like you in the world. After mocking the old beggar, he turned around, tore his face, directly, and said coldly, boy, hand over this female corpse, I can consider sparing your life. Oh? Su Changa was directly laughed at angrily. Snap. When he raised his hand, it was a big slap and slammed it on the old man's face, directly slamming his face. I won't hand it over, what can you do with me? The goatee old man suddenly became angry, and the pain on his face made him angry, and he jumped up on the spot and cursed, do you know where the old man comes from? The old man is from the East Sword sect, do you know the East Linjian sect? Can you afford to mess with it? Snap. Syllable. Sue. Chonga slapped him out twice, fanning his nose crooked on the spot, his eyes. Flashed Venus, and his head was dizzy. Su Chonga did not use cultivation, nor did he use physical strength, after. All, the beautiful master was still here. Fuck you, good boy, you dare to smoke me, I tell you, you are dead. Su Chonga didn't say a word, and went up and slapped him in the face again. Ugh. The goatee old man's mouth was slapped with blood, and his front teeth were faintly cracked. Su Chonga doesn't care where this person comes from, even if it is from. Malking, what does it have to do with him? Dare to threaten yourself, do not talk nonsense, and immediately pull back. Fiercely. The goatee old man only felt a hot pain on his face, these slaps are not. Light, although there is no cultivation blessing, but he can feel that Sue. Chonga's every slap is a ruthless hand, specifically picking vulnerable. Places to fan, very old and ruthless. I tell you, behind the old man's sect, there is the Jin Guangzong. Snap. Su Chonga raised his hand and slapped it again, directly fanning the goatee. Old man's head dizzy. The goatee old man jumped violently, pulling his throat and shouting, Boy. You are a newborn calf and are not afraid of tigers, the old man now tells you. That the Golden Guangzong is covered by the Tai Xian Dao sect behind it, you. Kind of hit the old man again. Snap. Su Changa didn't say a word, and slapped him again on the spot. This slap was mixed with a little physical strength inside, and directly. Dropped the front teeth of the goatee old man's fan, and the falling teeth. Were mixed with blood and flowed to the ground. The old man was completely furious. 
Covering his face with one hand, he held madly, anger me, you even dare to. Fight the subordinate sects of the Taishian Dao sect, looking for death. Yi Qingyao suddenly patted her forehead and suddenly remembered. The subordinates of the sect seem to have a person called the Golden Light. Sect, but they are too inconspicuous, it seems to be located in a backward. Place in the host domain, their sect master, came thousands of miles away with. A generous gift, and after countless hardships, they finally befriended an outer disciple in the sect, and since then they can be regarded as covered by someone. Snap. Su Changa didn't say much, directly pressed him to the ground, up and down. His hands, pumped left, right, and slapped a full thirty slaps. The face of the old man who smoked the goatee turned blue and red, and swollen. Into a pig's head. You. You dare to hit me, my backer is Jing Guanzong, Jing Guanzong's backer. Is Tai Xian Daozong, you are so daring, do you know that you have provoked a catastrophe, how many lives are not enough to die, no one dares to protect. You. Snap. Su Changa was another slap in the face. The hell of the old man who followed the goatee was buried in a continuous slap sound. Snap. 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 Su Changa only used a trace of physical strength to press him to the ground and couldn't move, and the goatee old man was carried away by anger, and he didn't know where this young man had such strength. It wasn't until he slapped three or four hundred times that Su Chonga let go of him and sneered, I have a master, to cover me, and if you have the ability, I will call you backer. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com, slash, 2AA54Z8B. Although the goatee old man was swollen and painful, he still gritted his teeth and shouted angrily, Who do you think your master is? Can she help you? Settle such a big thing? Does she have that much ability? Snap. Su Changa slapped him again, directly pulling one of his eyeballs off. The goatee old man was so angry that he took out a piece of sound transmission. Talisman on the spot and shouted, Sect Master, I'm in trouble, come quickly. A thick voice came from among the jade talismans, Who dares to move you? Wait for me. Turning. His head, the goatee old man glared viciously at Su Changa, pointed at his nose and scolded angrily, My backer will arrive soon, you wait for death. Su Changa's eyelids did not blink, and he said unhurriedly, I wish you were. Calling, just a pot of serving. Saying that, he glanced at the beautiful master. Yi Qingyao smiled and said nothing just quietly watching the goatee old man perform. Not long after, a carriage appeared in the sky. Pulling the cart were eight flame horses spitting flames, and the driver was a burly man, followed by a large number of people and horses in the rear. From a distance, a large area of black pressure of the entire convoy, like a dark cloud pressing the city, accompanied by a thick breath. Suddenly, the entire small city went dark, and countless city dwellers looked up at the sky, feeling breathless under this oppression, and one by one they plopped down on the ground, looking up at the void like ants looking up at the heavenly gods. My grass, Jin Guangzong. It's broken, why is Jin Guangzong here? Go fast, go fast, don't do our business. There were constantly passing cultivators in the sky, and when they saw such a big battle in the golden light sect from a distance, they avoided it one after. Another, did not dare to provoke, and took a direct detour. When the goatee old man saw reinforcements arrived, he glanced at Su Changa contemptuously, and said coldly, the person I called has arrived, boy, I want to see if your master can help you settle this matter. After a few breaths, the carriage fell steadily to the ground, and the rear brigade 
of people and horses were all strong people with leopard heads and eyes, like majestic soldiers, clustered around the car. Sect master, please. The burly man opened the curtain of the carriage. A white-eyed Daoist walked out of it and saw that he was nine feet tall. Wearing a golden crown, wearing a bronze armor, gold-rimmed combat boots, a rhino jade belt around his waist, and a majesty of a high position between his eyebrows. As soon as he appeared, the atmosphere around him suddenly became cold and solemn, like falling into an ice cave. He is the sect master of the Golden Light Sect, a powerhouse in the Crown King realm, who once split the Howlong Mountain Range with an axe and turned it into ruins. Tell me more about it. The sect master of the Golden Light Sect looked at the goatee old man. The goatee old man suddenly had confidence, his head was raised high, and he brushed his beard and unhurriedly told the ins and outs of the matter. Knowing the whole situation, the sect master of the Golden Light Sect glanced at Su Changa, and then glanced at Yi Ching Yao, and said, You are his master? Yi Ching Yao said coldly, Not bad, I am. Oh, the sect master of the Golden Light Sect glanced at her a few times, and found that he didn't know, his eyes were indifferent, as if he was looking at an inconspicuous little grasshopper, and said lightly, maybe you are from some unknown small force, right? In this way, thinking that you are a woman, and quite graceful, this seat can consider accepting you into the sect as a nominal disciple, as for your apprentice. He turned his head to look at Su Changa, and then pointed to the goatee old man, and said indifferently, apologize to my old friend, and then which hand? Slaps my old friend, I will break which hand I broke, and then get out, and this seat will be over as this matter. The voice just fell. Snap. A fierce slap hit him directly in the face, fanning his nose crooked on the spot, and the golden crown on his head flew out. You. The indifferent face of the golden light sect master changed suddenly. The burly man next to him reacted quickly, and immediately rushed over. Pointing at Su Chung's head and scolding, you are so daring, do you know? Who he is? I'm not interested in knowing. Su Chung never talked nonsense, directly slapped the big man's face, and only listened to snap. The crisp sound instantly buzzed the big man's pumping head. A large number of people and horses in the rear were all stunned for a moment. You. How can this be true, what a dare? The burly man's face turned red, and he was furious. Enough. The sect master of the Golden Light sect waved his hand, his face became extremely gloomy, and said in a deep voice, Boy, I seriously doubt that you don't know who I am? Who are you to shut me up? Su Changa blurted out. Huh. The sect master of the Golden Light sect laughed angrily on the spot. Exhaled a breath of evil, and said, Good. 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 Boy, you are very. Arrogant, tell you that this seat is the head of the Golden Light sect, and. His favorite thing in life is to repair an arrogant person like you. Aren't you just fighting for your master? The so-called hit the snake seven. Inches, the Hansa cut her off, you kind of give me to continue horizontal. I sincerely hope that after she dies, you will still be as arrogant as you are now. He took out a Xianhua big axe, directly set Su Changa aside, walked quickly to Yi Ching Yao, and said coldly, eat my axe. Boom. An axe was slashed out, and the violent murderous intent burst out violently. And a burst of tiger roaring dragon groans sounded in the air, shocking in all directions. Facing this axe, Yi Ching Yao shook her head and casually greeted it with a finger. At the snap of a finger, ten thousand sword light broke through the nine skies. 
Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. Tear up. A dazzling particle beam burst out from her fingertips like a heavenly sword. Ten thousand feet long, cutting through the sky, and a sword slashed on the big axe. Click. The big axe is shattering, and even the sound of bone shattering is resounding. When the explosion passed, everyone was shocked to find that the golden light sect master flew out with one arm, and his bones were splattered all the way. And blood was dripping. Shoo. This. Oh my god, the sect master lost in one move? The troops of the golden guanzong looked at each other, and the goatee old. Man was also stunned. Hmm. It hurts. It hurts. The sect master of the golden light sect covered his. Arm and screamed madly. The goatee old man quickly bandaged him, and then said with a gloomy face, I. Said how dare that kid, it turns out that his master cultivation is so strong. But so what, our backer is the Taishan Daozong. The Taishan Dao sect is a world-famous hidden world sect in the Kanglin. Realm, who dares to provoke. This woman doesn't want to live anymore. The sect master of the Golden Light sect lost his face, ashamed and angry, and directly waved his hand, and a transmission shot towards the direction of the Taishan Dao sect. Then he shouted wildly, Tell you, this seat has a backer. You are an unknown. Scattered cultivator, and you have a little cultivation, so you unscrupulously indulge your disciples, and even cut off one of the arms of the main seat, I tell you, when I come backer, you are finished. Yi Qingya's eyes flashed with pity, not bothering to pay attention to him. She ignored it, which does not mean that Su Changa ignored it. Snap. In front of everyone's eyes, Su Changa slapped the sect master of the golden. Light sect on the face again, stunned him on the spot, and the sky spun. Around. The goatee old man jumped violently, your grandmother's, how about? Cultivation to be high, tell you, there is no background in this world, no. Matter how big your skills are, it is useless, the people of the Tai Xian Dao. Sect will arrive immediately, wait for the old man. Snap. Su Changa fanned him like a headless fly with a big ear scraper, unable to find north. Although the sect master of the Golden Light sect was in severe pain, he still gritted his teeth and roared, You two are something, this seat originally. Felt that more is better than less, you go with me, he cut off his palm, this. Matter is solved. I didn't think that you were too hard bones, okay, this. Matter is not over today, no one can put it down. Mouthful. Su Changa slapped him over, directly pumping his mouth full of blood. After receiving this fierce slap, the sect master of the Golden Light sect still did not convince, and shouted angrily, you really ate the bare heart. Leopard Gall, isn't it just fighting your master? Tell you, she's a ball. Wait for the backers of this seat to arrive, I hope you two don't instigate. Snap. Su Changa slapped him out again. The sect master of the Golden Light sect was full of anger, and he couldn't. Wait to kill Su Changa and Yi Qingyao on the spot. About a cup of tea kung fu, from the direction of the Taishan Dao sect, a eh? White-cloaked friar, who flew on a sword came from the imperial sword, his. White clothes fluttering, spotless, like a sword fairy, coming to the world. There are no aura fluctuations around him, but from the perspective of. Temperament, he knows that he is very human. Soon, he landed on the ground. The sect master of the Golden Light sect and many of his people suddenly. Showed an excited and respectful expression and greeted them with a fart, and the three cowdows congratulated, I've seen the senior. The goatee old man also hurriedly greeted him, knelt down and cowdowed, and said, respectfully, senior, you are finally here, 
the little old man thinks so hard. About you. The white-cloaked friars glanced at them and said, Say, what's going on? The sect master of the Golden Light sect shouted miserably, That young man is arrogant and domineering, he can't do it, you see my face, red and swollen. Like a pig's head, it was all fanned by him, and my arm. You have to help us. Decide. The Goatee old man also spat bitterly and said, Senior, that woman is the most hateful, her apprentice is no one in her eyes when she is strong in cultivation, it is really too deceitful, you see this old face of me. The white-cloaked friars looked at their wounds and couldn't help but shake his head, this is too deceitful, but don't worry, with me here, his arrogant road ends here. One move. The white-cloaked friar stretched out a finger and said lightly, I only need one move to kill that woman and kill her apprentice. The sect master of the Golden Light sect and the old man with a goatee were overjoyed at once and said three times and nine times, if the predecessor comes out, he will be able to succeed in the horse. Yes. Kill that woman. Dead be a woman, if it weren't for her, that kid wouldn't dare to be arrogant. Many disciples of the Golden Light sect shouted angrily. Under the attention of everyone, the white-clothed friar was personable and calmly walked toward Yi Qingyao. The expression on the goatee old man's face gradually turned proud, looked directly at Yi Qingyao, and said with a sinister smile, Look how you settle. This matter. In the blink of an eye, the white-cloaked friar walked up to Yi Qingyao. He was about to make a move, but suddenly he saw Yi Qingyao's face clearly, and his body trembled and stiffened. Snap! Su Changda slapped the white-cloaked friar's face fiercely, directly, pulled out a large blood mark on his face, and said coldly, Who did you? Result in with one move just now. Seeing that the white-cloaked friar was actually slapped in the face, the surroundings suddenly fell into silence. Immediately after, the pot exploded. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com, slash, 2AA54Z8B. Groove. What is the situation, he even dares to fight the people of the Taishan Dao. Sect? Damn, this person is really daring, how can he not escape death now? Yes, I originally thought that this person was bold enough, but I didn't. Expect to underestimate it in the end, all his confidence comes from that. Woman, this person who fanned the Tai Xian Dao sect, the situation has been completely serious, even if the woman cultivates high, she can't put this matter to rest. The Golden Light sect master and the goatee old man shouted one after another. After being slapped, the white-clothed friar's heart jumped, and he couldn't care about the hot pain on his face, and hurriedly clarified, No. No, senior. Brother Su, I was wrong just now. He hurriedly bowed to Yi Qingyao, Lu He, a disciple of the outer sect of Lower Qingyun Peak, has seen Lord Yi Feng. After that, he hurriedly turned his head and also saluted Su Chonga, I have seen senior brother Su. Huh? Countless people of the Golden Light sect had question marks in their minds for a moment, and they were all stunned. As for the sect master of the Golden Light sect and the goatee old man, he hurriedly rubbed his eyes, thinking that his eyes were wrong. Yi Qingyao glanced at the white-cloaked friar and said expressionlessly, You are the backer of the Golden Guangzong, right? Yes. The disciple is, no, the disciple is not, he has nothing to do with me. Now, you Ming Jian. Lu He's face turned pale, and his head shook like a rattle. This is the hall master, he is an outer disciple in the district, he is a great disciple but in the Taishan Dao sect is nothing, only one level higher. 
Then the miscellaneous servants, facing Yi Qingyao under his eyes, his legs, trembled with fright, and a cold sweat oozed from his back. If nothing else, you can cut yourself off first. Yi Qingyao said coldly. Lu, he did not dare to slacken, and hurriedly took out a sharp long sword, and, with a force on his wrist, he slashed at his arm. Click. One arm was unloaded and blood flew everywhere. Severe pain came from the broken bone, making Lu he oozing sweat, but he did. Not dare to shout out, for fear of disrespect. This, everyone in the Golden Guanzong, was stunned. The sect master of the Golden Light sect chuckled in his heart, and asked, Lu. He in a trembling voice, before. Senior, who is she? Snap. Coming in front of him, Lu he slapped him fiercely, directly slapped. His head more than eighty times, and almost fell off. Ah, the Golden Light sect master screamed bitterly only to feel that the bones in his neck were almost all shattered, his head was tilted to his shoulders, and he was weakly pulled there, leaving only his last breath to hang. Seeing that the sect master of the Golden Light sect was so miserable, the goatee old man instantly turned pale as paper with fright. Su Chunga looked at Yi Qingyao and said, Master, take out your identity. Token Identity token? The goatee old man secretly said that it was not good. He has an extremely bad premonition, maybe the other party is very big. The next moment, a token appeared in front of his eyes. In just a moment, Yi Qingyao withdrew and did not speak, just looked at him. With a smile. The goatee old man's face changed drastically, in an instant, white as earth. Lowered his head and said nothing. Never dare to say a word again. Click. Su Changa kicked him in the leg, directly kicked the goatee old man's knee. Off, and said coldly, I just hit you, just provoked a catastrophe, why, my. Master is uneven? The. Goatee old man trembled all over, so frightened that his soul was gone, and he. Slammed his head, begging for mercy, while kowtowing, this. It turns out that. Your master is the master of the first peak of the Taishian Dao sect, and the. Little one has no beads just now, and he is blind, and does not recognize it. And he still looks. Click. Su Chonga kicked another kick, directly kicked off his other leg, and said. Coldly, I asked you if you can put it flat. Flat. Laid flat. Well played, seniors played well, seniors come a few more. Times, completely beat me up. The goatee old man endured severe pain, and his. Heart trembled wildly in his body. He didn't expect that the other party was actually a person from the Tai Xian. Dao sect, and he was also the lord of a peak high above. This is the backer of your own backer. It turned out to be a big guy, I can't. Afford to mess with it. Now he kicked himself to the iron plate. Su Changa was too lazy to bird him, turned his head to look at Lu He, and said, I don't want to dirty my hands, you can watch and handle this. Lu, he suddenly felt the pressure on his head double, trembling and looking at the goatee old man, and said coldly, you, commit suicide. Now, immediately. Right away. Shoo. The goatee old man gasped fiercely, and hurriedly pleaded, Senior. Just now I was dizzy under the old eye, so I don't recognize the real dragon. Please. I'll fuck you, do you kill yourself or not? Do you still have to help you? With me? Luhi's eyes flashed sharply. The goatee old man's face changed, tragically in an instant, and he hurriedly cowed out to Yi Qingyao and begged for mercy, Peak Lord, it's my mistake, you can spare me for my age. Yi Qingyao turned her head directly and didn't even look at him. The goatee old man suddenly felt like a bucket of water seven up and eight. Down, swaying in all directions, knowing that he couldn't hide today. 
God, how did he provoke such a big disaster, who can protect himself now? Not suicidal, huh? Well, I'll help you. Lu he walked towards him with his sword, pressing forward step by step. Lu, he was actually scared to death, if he went back, Yi Qin Yao, casually said. A word to the sect master, his identity as a disciple of the outer sect would immediately not be preserved, and he might even be expelled from the sect. Directly. Offending the peak lord and saying that he wants to kill the peak lord with one move, this is a great disrespect. In general, the sect master of the Golden Light sect was really daring, and he dared to provoke an existence that he couldn't provoke at all, and he was simply looking for death. Don't don't, senior, I'll come by myself, don't get your hands dirty, the goatee old man felt regret in his heart, trembled and took out a dagger. Looking at the sharp cold of the blade, and shuddered. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com, slash, 2AA54Z8B. Then a ruthless, poof sounded, pierced into the stomach. Instantly, there was a deflated sound in his stomach, like a leather ball. Deflating, blood gushing like a fountain, and it didn't take long for him to fall to the ground and not move. When he was about to die, there was only one thought in his mind, God, I regret it. Lou. He kicked his corpse and flew out, and then glanced at the sect master of the Golden Light sect who was only hanging in one breath, and without nonsense, he slammed it with a palm. Boom! A blood mist exploded, and even the hearts of many disciples of the Golden Light sect trembled, and the sect master of the Golden Light sect did not even had the strength to beg for mercy, and was blasted abruptly on the spot, becoming a blood mist. Immediately after, Luhi scanned the entire Golden Light sect and shouted, Violently, are you committing suicide, or am I helping you? This. Everyone in the Golden Light sect trembled their teeth and trembled. At this point, it's too late to say anything. They consciously took out their weapons, ruthlessly, and wiped them on their necks. In an instant, everyone died cleanly. However, one more person did not die. That's the burly man. He was now terrified, his heart pounding in his body, his heart pounding. Beads of sweat dripping from his head, wetting the ground. Senior. You spare me, I don't know anything, I'm willing to be a cow and a horse. Just ask. Ugh. Lugie's hand rose, and fell, the burly man's head fell to the ground and blood sprayed wildly. Then, Lu He breathed a sigh of relief, looked at Yi Qing Yao, and bowed his hand, Lord Yi Feng, look. Yi Qing Yao waved her hand. Lu He just breathed a sigh of relief and suddenly jumped up again, this is. Settle accounts after the fall? He secretly gasped and walked back towards the sect in shock. After Lu He left, Su Changa smiled and said, Master, thank you. I have to say, Master Venerable is so good, I love Master to death. Yi Qing Yao waved her hand and smiled, Okay, okay, everything is settled. Let's go to Long Ling Grotto. Hmm. Su Changa did not intend to delay any more time and put the fairy queen's corpse into a storage bag. Then all the corpses at the scene were checked, and hundreds of storage bags were successfully found, containing a large number of weapons and halberds. Medicinal material exercises, especially the sect master of the Golden Light. Sect, the storage bag was deep, it could be called rich and oily, high level. Martial arts pill weapons emerged endlessly, and more importantly, there was a yellow level divine weapon. And the goatee old man also has a lot of things on him, just the ultimate. Spirit stones are three or four million, and there are many good gemstone. Elixirs, shining, each of which is hard currency. After packing up the loot, Yi Qingyao took out the flying boat, swelled up in. 
the wind, and led him up to the Longling Grottoes. Just when Yi Qingyao took Su Chongga to Longling Grotto, within the Taishin, Dao sect, Tiantai Peak, was engaged in a conspiracy. At this moment, in the Alchemy Hall, all the idle people and others were cleared, Du Sihai laid out a soundproof formation, and then came to Huang. Jiu Long sighed in a mocking manner, and said, Apprentice, do you know how good this seat learned yesterday? As soon as Huang Jiu Long heard this, he came to his senses, and said, What? Long Ling Grottoes. Du Sihai smiled and said, The sect master told us yesterday about the nine. Peaks Peak Lord about the Long Ling Grotto, that is a treasure location. The sect master asked us to prepare for five days first, and when the time is up, everyone will go there and hollow out all the treasures. After briefly summarizing this incident, Du Sihai suddenly got a little closer, and his voice was even lowered as small as a slightest, Huang'er, you are the pride of my Tiantai peak, so this seat plans to take you to Long Ling. Grottoes in advance, before everyone else, and scavenge all the treasures inside and give them all to you. As for the rest of the sect, when the time comes, they can only be dumbfounded. When Huang Jiolong heard this, he immediately looked overjoyed. He couldn't wait to quickly obtain a huge amount of treasures and climb his cultivation to cover up the appearance of his stagnation during this time. So far, all the insiders thought that he had pressed Xiao Wei in the Wheel Sea realm, and they didn't know his calculations at all. Peak Lord, hurry, take me quickly. An excited voice came from Huang. Jiao Long's mouth. However, when he said this, he suddenly realized something, and said fiercely. Wait a minute, if everyone arrives in five days, and finds that they have been rushed there, the sect master will definitely be angry, and what if something is found out at that time? Afraid of what? Du Sihai directly interrupted him and asserted, even if the Sect master finds out at that time, it doesn't matter. You know, you are not only the pride of my Tiantai peak, but also the pride of the entire sect, when the sect master knows that the treasures inside belong to you, he will not say anything. On the contrary, it will be happy in the eyes of the heart. Because now the most important person in the entire sect is only you, will he still Cure you of your sins? As soon as these words came out, Huang Jiolong suddenly had no scruples and said, without further ado, take me quickly. Coming. Du Sihai waved his hand to the side. Immediately, five or six dead men came out, lifted the stretcher and lifted. Huang Jiolong. These dead warriors all changed into sect robes in advance and disguised themselves as normal disciples. Subsequently, Du Sihai led the team, and everyone hid their breath and quietly left the sect. The other side. Yi Qingyao had already arrived at the Longling Grottoes. Standing on the deck and looking down, I saw that below was a huge hill, covering a vast area, as many as 10,000 acres. Except that, there is nothing. Master, there is nothing in this hill, where is the grotto? I didn't sense the dragon's breath either. Su Changda looked down and wondered. Yi Qingyao said with a smile, actually, the Longling grottoes were not discovered by the sect master, but by the Lingxiao sect, not far away, and after they found it, they transferred it to us without hesitation, to make good relations. And according to the information given by the sect master of Lingxiao, the grotto is hidden in an enchantment, so it is usually impossible to see. She said as she dropped to the ground, found a transparent spot, and flicked her fingers. Just listening to the click, as if something had been opened, the hills changed sharply, revealing their original appearance. A keel appeared in front of him. 
To be precise, it is a keel that has undergone endless years of change and has become a living fossil. The keel is huge, straddling the ground, just a claw is thousands of meters. Long, as for the entire keel, it is enough to entrench the entire hill, the size is so large that even three or five mountain ranges combined cannot be compared, breathtaking. Yesterday, after Lin Invincible said the Long Ling Grotto, he also explained the enchantment to the Nine Peaks Peak Lord, so Yi Qingyao was very clear. She searched for another moment, and successfully found a hole in the claw of the keel, and said, this is an entrance that Ling Xiao sect chiseled for us. As for the heavenly materials and earth treasures inside, none of them moved. They all consciously kept it for us Tai Xian Dao sect, without saying much. Let's go in quickly. Hmm. Su Changa nodded and walked in with her. When inside, the enchantment automatically closes, and the keel becomes hilly. Again. No one would have thought that there was a big opportunity disguised here. In fact, at that time, Ling Xiaozong also took a lot of effort to discover the secret of this place, and then it took a lot of effort to find a way to crack the enchantment. In the Long Ling Grottoes, Su Chang'e went all the way deeper and saw that the cave walls on both sides were gray-white, like bones. He quickly understood that he was walking in the keel. That is, inside the bones. Bones are blood channels, containing bone marrow and many other precious things, and they extend in all directions, leading directly to all parts of the keel, which can be said to be an unprecedented opportunity. His body is very small in this keel, like an ant. And he passed all the way, and saw that many places here were covered with moss, lush, like a meadow, with all kinds of vegetation. In some places without vegetation, you can clearly see the cave walls where blood vessels flow, as if thousands of troops and horses have galloped past, leaving many vicissitudes and ancient imprints, revealing the sacred dragons. Breath. Apprentice, a drop of dragon's blood, can cause endless heavenly materials, and earth treasures to blossom and bear fruit, in primeval times, the dragon blood. Here gave birth to countless heavenly materials and earth treasures, you see. That grass, that is the heavenly silkworm treasure dragon grass, countless. Alchemy masters in the outside world dream of getting one, but here, it is at. Your fingertips. Yi Qingyao looked not far away, her beautiful eyes were bright, and her heart was happy. Su Changa swept his eyes sideways, and sure enough, he found that there was a grass growing there, about half a meter tall, with a jadeite body, like jadeite, exuding a fresh and extremely fragrant fragrance, elegant to the extreme, fragrant to the extreme. And he was also pleasantly surprised to find that the things that grew here were all free of impurities. Think about it, this is the inside of the keel, the environment is far beyond the outside world, and the treasures that grow are naturally pure. He raised his hand and waved to harvest the heavenly silkworm treasure dragon. Grass, and then held Ji Qingyao's hand and said, Master, take it. Huh? Yi Qingyao looked stunned. She came here clearly to give all these things to her apprentices, but not to herself. Apprentice, these are all yours, I don't want it. No, you want. Su Changa couldn't help but say, and directly stuffed the heavenly silkworm treasure dragon grass into the palm of her hand. Uh. All right. Yi Qingyao knew that he couldn't excuse himself, so he had to pat his forehead and said helplessly, then I'll help you keep it first. Here, after sending things out, in Su Chang'e's mind, the system subsidy immediately arrived. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com slash 2AA54Z8B. Ding! You sent a heavenly silkworm dragon grass, and the tens of billions of 
subsidies took effect, triggering an excess critical attack. This excess critical attack multiplier, 879,900 times. Congratulations to the host for obtaining Tianyuan Snow Heart Grass. Ha ha ha, cool. Su Changa was happy in his heart. There are so many treasures here, you can brush them back on the ground, and then use the brushed treasure grass to nourish the fairy queen female corpse. And after she recovers, this will be beautiful again. Just do it, his heart moved, and he transferred the fairy queen corpse into the system space. Then, put the Tianyuan snow heart grass beside her. When the Tianyuan snow heart grass arrived beside her, she only listened to the sound of bang, and the whole grass turned into a fresh air flow, and disappeared into her body. The female corpse's cheek suddenly turned a little rosier and regained a bit of radiance. Good. Not bad. Su Changa smiled heartily. If this female corpse is in the hands of others, I am afraid it will take a long time to recover. But he's different. With such a unique blessing as the system, his speed of reviving this female Corpse was far a thousand times faster than others. At this moment, Yi Qingyao discovered something again, and was suddenly surprised and delighted, it turned out to be a dragon blood Ganoderma. Lucidum. Su Changda looked where she looked and saw a knee-sized Ganoderma Lucidum. Growing there. That Lingji was different from all the Lingji in the outside world, the hole was dark red as if it was formed by blood coagulation, exuding a deep and vast chi. Apprentice, quick, take it off, quickly. Yi Qingyao was so excited that she couldn't walk. Ordinary Ganoderma lucidum is already an incomparably rare treasure, and this red blood Ganoderma lucidum is not to mention more. Su Changa took it off without saying a word, and then directly grabbed the Hand of the beautiful master, put the red blood lingji in the palm, and said, Master, take it. Huh? Yi Qingyao was quite surprised, and said, I mean you took it off, and belong to yourself, but why are you, Su? Changa directly covered her mouth. Master, send you to you, what, so much nonsense. Uh. Good. All right. Yi Qingyao was helpless, so she had to accept it. The apprentice is so good to himself. Ding. You sent a dragon blood Ganoderma lucidum, tens of billions of subsidies took. Effect, triggering an excess critical attack. This excess critical attack multiplier, 880,000 times. Congratulations to the host for obtaining gluttonous blood Ganoderma lucidum. Cool. Su Chonga glanced at the system space, and saw that there was a Lingji. Suspended there, which was the size of an umbrella cover, and the body was. Rolling with extremely terrifying fluctuations. His mind moved, and he directly put it next, to the fairy queen's corpse. Oh. The gluttonous blood Ganoderma lucidum turned into a cloud of golden light, and. Submerged into the female corpse, and in an instant, her complexion recovered. A lot. Retract your gaze. Su Changda looked around the keel and saw at a glance that there was a fruit. Growing on the cave wall. Jade spirit fruit. He blurted out. Directly pluck the jade spirit fruit and put it in the hands of the beautiful. Master. Master, take it. Apprentices. You, so good to me, I'm so touched. You sent a jade spirit fruit, tens of billions of subsidies took effect. Triggering an excess critical attack. This excess critical attack multiplier, 882,000 times. Congratulations to the host for obtaining, 10,000 years of kiwi fruit. Sue. Changa glanced at it and saw that this object was a golden fruit with a rich aura. No nonsense, directly to the female corpse, to absorb. 
Soon, the female corpse's complexion recovered a point. Next, he walked deep into the keel and launched a big sweep. Along the way, a terrifying number of heavenly materials and earth treasures were harvested, such as dragon bone rock, dragon bone essence spirit treasure, purple soul, golden fragrant fruit. Countless. It is worth mentioning that there are many kinds of heavenly materials and earth treasures growing in the keel, so there are both precious and ordinary. Visible. Suchanga only took the good ones and kept the garbage for the people in the sect. This not only obtains the benefits, but also avoids the due, which can be described as killing two birds with one stone, perfect. P.S. Yesterday I saw that a reader left a big message saying yesterday, three chapters is it? So today's chapter is two in one, and this chapter is nearly 4,000 words. In addition, thank you, Ghost Sloppy, and, Bakey Mohan, for the milk tea. After a cup of tea. Ding. You sent a dragon you on spirit fruit, tens of billions of subsidies took. Effect, triggered an excess critical attack, this excess critical attack. Multiplier, 886,000 times, congratulations to the host for obtaining, Nirvana. Emperor Extreme Fruit. Ding. You sent a Tian Qian Soul Fruit, tens of billions of subsidies took. Effect, triggered an excess critical attack, this excess critical attack. Multiple, 887,200 times, congratulations to the host for obtaining, Dragon and Phoenix Alchemy God Golden Fruit. Along the way, countless heavenly treasures were harvested. Not long after moving forward, the bone passage ahead turned a corner. Yi Qingyao guessed, we should have walked to the elbow of this dragon's leg. Hmm. Su Chongga nodded slightly, and then harvested a good spirit plant at his feet, then turned this detour and walked forward. He felt like he was going uphill, uphill. Just turned this corner, Yi Qingyao smelled something fiercely, Cheong sniffed and said, it's so fragrant. Su Changa also smelled it. The scent is pure, pure, and pure, like the fragrance of lotus flowers in bloom. He took Yi Qingyao's hand and walked towards the place where the fragrance came from. Naturally, a lot of good heavenly materials and earth treasures were harvested. On the road. Ding. You sent a blood-colored camellia plant, tens of billions of subsidies. Took effect, triggered an excess critical attack, this excess critical hit. Multiplier, 888,000 times, congratulations to the host for obtaining, Tianji. Yang Shenhua. Ding. You sent a Jiuyang golden pith spirit flower, tens of billions of. Subsidies took effect, triggering an excess critical attack this excess. Critical attack multiple, 889,000 times, congratulations to the host for obtaining Tianqian Bone Washing Dao Flower. Soon, the two reached the thigh bone of the keel. Su Chongga looked around and saw that there was a spring here, and the spring continuously spewed out clear water spray, forming a wide lotus pond below. Looking at the lotus pond again, I saw a white and flawless lotus seed growing in the center of the pool. The lotus flower has nine petals, and the stamen is pink, revealing an elegant fragrance, which is extremely pleasing to the eye. That pure fragrance is what this lotus seed emits. Flawless white lotus. Yi Qingyao saw at a glance what this thing was, and said cheerfully, the growth conditions of this thing are extremely harsh. Only the place where there is not the slightest impurity can grow, if it is medicated, it can be refined into the highest grade elixir. Su Chongga couldn't help but shake his head. This flawless white lotus is good, but you can easily manufacture the ultimate grade elixir in batches. He asked, Master, do you want it? Without waiting for Yi Qingyao to reply, 
he jumped directly off the pond, swam to the center to pluck the lotus seed, returned and sent it to Yi Qingyao. Here you go. Yi. Qingyao's white and flawless pretty face fluttered, feeling that the apprentice was good to himself, but he couldn't accept it any more, shook his head and smiled, Apprentice, just now along the way, you have already sent me so many heavenly materials and earth treasures, this lotus seed is so precious. You keep it, Su Changa interrupted directly, Master, if you refuse. Believe it or not, I will hang you up and spank? Huh? Yi Qingya's cherry mouth suddenly opened wide, and her pretty face turned red in an instant. This? There. Is no one here, and it's not in the sect, and no one knows if I hang you up. And whip you, hee hee. Su Changa showed the expression of a fierce tiger. Catching a sheep. Yi Qingyao lowered her head shyly and said softly, I. I lose, then I take. She took the flawless white lotus in her hand and felt warm in her heart, and. A warm current ran through the atrium, which was extremely comfortable. Unexpectedly, the apprentice would accept it himself no matter what, even if. He didn't accept it he would force him to accept it. Once you have something good, you have to give it to yourself. If this is the case, what can I ask for in this life? Ding. You sent a flawless white lotus, tens of billions of subsidies took. Effect, triggered an excess critical attack, this excess critical attack. Multiplier, 890,000 times, congratulations to the host for obtaining, creation. White Lotus. Su Changda looked at the system space, and suddenly saw a clear and crystalline lotus seed emerge there, with twelve petals in bloom, pink and white stamens, and a rich and pure fragrance overflowing, intoxicating. As soon as his mind moved, Lianzi suddenly converged into a golden light, shooting towards the face of the fairy queen's corpse, and then disappeared into her body. The complexion of the fairy queen corpse suddenly became more rosy than before, and a vague immortal king realm aura overflowed from her body. Huh? At this moment, Yi Qingyao suddenly noticed something and let out a soft snort. Read more novels for free on our website, tinyurl.com, slash, 2AA54Z8B. Su Changa said, Master, what's wrong? This pool of water doesn't seem to be ordinary. Water, Yi Qingyao sensed it for a moment and said, if that's the case, this is the mana transformed by the spinal cord of this ancient dragon, which has the effect of spiritual liquid, if you can jump in and take a bath. Speaking of this, she took Su Changa's hand and said, Apprentice, it's better for you to go down and take a bath, this water can prolong life, and once washed, it can increase your lifespan by 300 years. Su. Changa was never pretentious, and jumped into the pool, with a plop. Suddenly, he felt a huge aura empowerment pouring into his body, and the aura in his body became a cycle of its own, rolling horizontally in the twelfth. Life's palace. He glanced up at Yi Qingyao, and said suspiciously, Master, don't you come down? I don't have to, the main thing is to increase your life expectancy, otherwise. After a hundred years, you will definitely turn into a handful of less, and by then, I will be alone, lonely and miserable, speaking of this, Yi Qingyao's heart was low, and she couldn't continue. Su Changa pulled her and dragged her directly into the pool, but the apprentice wants to take a bath with you. Plop. The water splash rolled, instantly soaking the clothes on Yi Qingyao's body. Yi Qingyao's body trembled all of a sudden, as if she had been struck by lightning. She had never bathed with anyone else, and now suddenly came out like this. And she felt her heart jumping like a deer, and she was very nervous. But also rejoice, and even has an inexplicable thorn. Agitation. 
Fortunately, this is not a sect, there are no others, otherwise, she looked. Around, secretly relieved. Master, you are so soft, Su Changa touched her and praised. Hmm, Yi Qingyao lowered her head shyly. An hour later, the two finished taking a shower and jumped out of the pool. When Yi Qingyao changed his clothes, Su Changa suddenly had an epiphany, and said, this pool of water should also have an effect on that fairy queen. Female corpse, right? So, do you want to wash her too? Just said this, he patted his forehead depressedly, and said helplessly, this is not nonsense, it must be washed, she has been buried in the tomb group for so long, her body is somewhat obscure and dusty, and it must be washed white. Immediately, he took out the fairy queen's corpse. Without wasting time, he immediately helped her remove her streamer butterfly clothes and then began to bathe her. Not long after, the complexion of the fairy queen's corpse recovered a lot. Her face was red and pink and white, silky white and tender like a hibiscus. Out of water, and the whole person was radiant, like a great supplement. Suchanga didn't know how much effect she had added, but she thought that it should be a lot, and then helped her wash it. Until he washed her all over her body, then put on the butterfly dress for her, and then took back the storage bag. A series of operations flowed through the clouds. Just when he was busy with this, Suchanga's eyes suddenly lit up. He saw that under the flawless white lotus just now, there seemed to be something shining under the water. I was just thinking about picking lotus seeds just now, but I didn't notice it. Go over and take a look. He got back into the water and swam towards the place. When I arrived, I was surprised to find that it was a snow-white white lotus. It's just that this white lotus is different from the ordinary lotus, and it is full of light, like a white jade rod, which is eye-catching. Suddenly, the white lotus light bloomed, and a violent purple-gold light swept out, and it really turned into a white jade rod. On the shore, Yi Qingyao was suddenly pleasantly surprised, three treasures. And Jade Rui. Su Jui said in amazement, it's called three treasure Jade Rui? Yes, Yi Qingyao said cheerfully, this thing weighs a full 100 million. Caddies, it can be used to smash people, and with one blow, the terrifying. Pressure will instantly smash the other party into a meatloaf, which is a rare. Treasure. Su Chonga waved his hand and said, Master, I can't take this thing, I can. Only give it to you. Yi. Qing Yao smiled like a flower, walked over on the water, and with a slight force, picked up the three treasure jade rui. Ding. You sent three treasure jade rui, tens of billions of subsidies took. Effect, triggered an excess critical attack, this excess critical attack. Multiplier, 899,999 times. Congratulations to the host for obtaining, heavenly. Power Town God Seal.